Hmm, I wonder. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. I wonder. How many of you are with the person that you are with today because of the circumstances? Meaning, 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 say for instance you didn't have your three kids, say for instance you didn't have your three kids, say for instance you didn't have your four kids, say for you didn't have your five kids. Would you still be with the person you are with today? The only reason I'm asking that is because that's one thing I realized in today's world. Mostly all, if not all relationships, maybe a few <clears throat> speckled through there. But mostly all people that are involved in relationships today involve other kids. Meaning she got three or four, he got four or five. I don't see too many relationships that involve the contents that God calls a relationship to be. That's what the Bible says. You think about Adam and Eve. He created Eve from Adam's rib. Now, God has all power, so if he wanted a family to be like that and wanted to be like that, he could have very well created Eve that had Steve, Ali, Billy Goat, and John. But he didn't. But the question of today is, I was just wondering, and just wondering, <clears throat> would you even be with, or even be involved with the person you are with today if you didn't have uh, the assortment of kids that you have? The reason why I said assortment because Truth be told, to be honest, most of y'all got uh, two to three baby mamas and or two to three baby daddies. So would you be with the person you are with today had you not had all them kids? And are the only reason why you with that person is because y'all have something in common, which is the kids. Because very rarely do I see a person with a whole lot of kids marry somebody who don't have no kids. Very rarely. <clears throat>